All right, in this tutorial, you're going to learn about how to evaluate numerical expressions that are involving integers. Again, integers are our positive and negative whole numbers, no decimals, no fractions. So in order to evaluate, that's just another word to say simplify. So get this thing, this expression, whittled all the way down to one singular number, or when we start using algebraic terms, one singular term. So since they're numbers, or integers, we're going to get this thing down to one number. And in order to use this evaluation process, we have to correctly follow our order of operations. Now, our order of operations just tell us how to reduce this, how to simplify it in a specific order. So the first thing you need to look for is your parentheses. Anything inside a set of parentheses has to be reduced first. After your parentheses, you're going to look for exponents. You take your base, raise it to your exponent, and simplify then. Third, and this is going to be two different things at once multiply and divide. If you've ever seen um, the acronym for your order of operations, you may start to kind of see it now is PEMDAS. When you think PEMDAS, some of you may think multiply first to then divide. Well, multiply and divide can be used in any given order. You can divide first, then multiply. You can multiply first, then divide. You can do both of these two things at the same time. This is your third level or layer of your order of operations. And then since I mentioned PEMDAS, the last one is to add and subtract. And again, adding and subtracting can be done at the same time. You can subtract first, then add. You can add, then subtract. Those two things are the same. So you have four different levels of your order of operations. So let's look at a couple of examples and see it in action. Parentheses 7 plus 3 times 4 divided by 2 minus 5 times 6. Now I see a set of parentheses, so I'm going to deal with this thing first. 7 plus 3 is 10. Then from here, I've dealt with all the parentheses. I move next into exponents. I don't have any exponents in this string, so I don't have anything to worry about. Multiply and divide is next. So the first thing I see, I like to work left to right with my multiply and divide at the same time, but you may see other things at once. 10 times 4 is 40 divided by 2. And then I'm going to de do this negative 5 times 6 at the same time. So dealing with your multiplication and division, we're going to look at the signs of the numbers. Negative 5 times a positive 6, we know our answer is going to be negative because the signs are different. So that's a negative 30. Then we have 40 divided by 2 to give us 20. 20 minus 30. You follow your rules of adding and subtracting. This is a positive, this is a negative, so we know we're going to subtract because the signs are different. 30 is bigger, so 30 minus 20 is 10, and you keep the sign of that bigger number. All right, moving on to the next one. Anything inside a set of a parentheses we're going to deal with first. Uh, we've got singular numbers inside these parentheses. We'll get to that later, but there's nothing specifically inside this parentheses to deal with first or this parentheses to deal with. This set of parentheses we can, however, deal with. 6 plus 10 divided by 2. It's two different things going at once. So inside this parentheses, we're going to follow the same order of operations. We have add and we have divide. Divide is before add, so we're going to divide first inside the set of parentheses. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. All right, inside the set of parentheses, 6 plus 5 becomes 11. And somehow I wrote this expression backwards. All right, now from here, we're going to go back to this other set of parentheses because after we've done the parentheses, there's no exponents, and we're going to look at multiply and divide. When you see two numbers next to each other, 
individually in a set of parentheses. This is another way to say multiply it. So 5 times 4 is going to be 20. All right. Now, from here, this is all I didn't subtract, so I'm just going to work left to right. 8 plus 20 is 28. Um, negative 11 plus a positive 44, these two signs are different, so we're going to subtract. 44 minus 11 is 33, and the 44 is bigger, so we keep the plus sign. Now, 28 plus 33 is going to be a positive 61. All right, next one. Uh, 7 times 2 plus parentheses, 7 plus 3 times another set of parentheses, 5 minus 2, double closing, divided by 4 minus 2. Uh, so parentheses inside of parentheses, you have to work furthest inside. So we're going to start with the 5 minus 2 first. That becomes a 3. And then we can reduce everything inside this set of parentheses from here. The 3 times 3 becomes the 9. Okay. Inside the set of parentheses, the 7 plus 9 becomes 16. I'm going to bring this up off to the side so I have some more room. So 7 times 2 plus 16 divided by 4 minus 2. Okay. Working left to right, 7 times 2 is 14. 16 divided by 4 is 4. And we're left with just adding and subtracting. So 14 and 4 is 18. Minus 2 is 16. All right, and the last one, 8 minus 2 raised to the exponent 2. There's no parentheses, so we move to exponents. 2 squared is 4. And 8 minus 4 is 4. So follow your rules for order of operations. You guys may have seen this before, but just one thing to remember is that multiply and divide are their their own level together, add and subtract are their own level together. So you start with parentheses first, then exponents, then multiply and or divide, then add and or subtract.